hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on several reactions by celebrities actors and actresses in the nollywood industry who have reacted to the gruesome killing in all war on the state yesterday being sunday 5th june 2022 at least 50 people were recorded to have lost their lives in the attack targeted at St. Francis Catholic Church in southwestern Nigeria on those states as worshippers gathered on Sunday. Gunmen opened fire and detonated explosive killing dozens of people in the church as they worship. The violence began as worshippers gathered at St. Francis Catholic Church in Ondo State on Sunday. Among where many children lost their life, the governor of Ondo State, Rosemia Kerudolo, said her heart are heavy, her peace and tranquility have been attacked by the enemies of the people. A doctor at the hospital in Owa said no fewer than 50 bodies have been moved to Owa Federal Medical Center and St. Louis Catholic Hospital. Authorities did not immediately release an official their toll. No group claimed responsibility for Sunday's attack. Several videos appeared online and videos appearing to be from the scenes of the attack showed church worshippers lying in their own pool of blood while people around them wailed. It was indeed a black Sunday. A Sunday no Christian would have thought they would say they were glad they never went to church. Here are some of celebrities' reaction after seeing the gruesome killing of people in the church. Although some of them have been dragged as they were called out to have been part of the people campaigning for most of those politicians and they were being called out that this is a result of their support and their solidarity with these top men guys know that this page doesn't support any form of violence or any non-governmental propaganda whatsoever we are just stating is as it is two blessings shared on my instagram page are pain and plight and added a caption saying let out to all the politicians, if you are coming to rule us and you are not ready to put an end to the insecurity in Nigeria, stay the fuck in your house. I do not know how long we will continue like this. Nigeria is a great country, but people like us wake up scared every day of fear of the unknown. This must change. Any Awiru, hashtag Emiloko and the rest. Of course, people came for them saying that these celebrities are not using their platform for what they ought to use it for with larger audience for them to speak up for a lot of nigerians at the same time these celebrities also remind their fans that they are also human with blood running in their veins like them if i did image said oh allah this is too much how did we get here is it election power tussle religious madness Dear Almighty, the our victims died while worshipping you. Please forgive their sins and grant them Janna. My heart goes out to families that lost their loved ones today. Almighty Allah, please heal our land and take this gloom away. Adunadi Adekola shared and said, A bloody Sunday, another sad day in Nigeria, sad day in Ondo State. I pray, may their soul rest in peace. God will take total control in Jesus' name. Adunia they said, what is going on in Nigeria with all this barbaric act? Why go into a place of worship to kill? Why? What is with all this tribalistic division in the country? Why are the authorities quiet? Sad truth is these folks are brainwashed to believe they are doing the right thing while they still suffer. When you finish wiping out the country, please, who are you going to govern? Ghosts? God help us. Yabo Ojo also shared our own part and said, We are all not safe in this country, and our leaders ain't doing anything about it. All they do is fight to acquire more power, position, and enrich their pockets while they constantly feed us with false hope and promises. The killings, Mugbeu, Kole Abiyamo, Ha, Nigerian weeps, our soul weeps, our nation is heading for doom. Ah, killing going on in this country is dangerous and unseemly. You must act fast. If you are leaders, can put an end to this on your own. No problem. I understand. Edakun, kindly just help us seek foreign help except from foreign countries like America to help us fish out these bandits and put an end to all this madness. Hmm. 
unless you will no longer have a country to lead and home to return to on those of us living in this country will pay the ultimate price this is so heartbreaking my heart bleeds yemi fabi went ahead to share his own one or two and said i saw the video of the church massacre and my heart sad 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 may the soul of those killed in this gruesome murder not sleep until the killers are hunted down justice may god console their families and be with the church in these trying times my prayer and thoughts with them start demanding for state police harmonized national database national emergency number compulsory quality education for every child effective human rights enforcement 100 percent adherence to the rule of law who is next where is next this was the question yomi fabi asked on behalf of a lot of nigerian inka kodri also shared and said the mass murder at the church in owa undo state is excruciatingly painful to the heart this killing have to stop my heart goes out to the relatives friends and the entire people of undo state over the gruesome killings i pray you heal with this pain God help us all. Salam Mirror to me also went ahead to share one or two and said, This can happen in Lagos. This can happen in Abuja. This can happen in your city. This can be the church your mother attends. This can be a Sunday school that you sent your kids to. This can be a church you went to worship. This can be you or me. Now is the time that all political aspirants currently campaigning for one office or the other needs to prove they really mean well for this country. Should this killing go uncaught and unpunished, God please. This was written me, so let me share his own one or two opinion concerning the matter at hand. It maker Mr. Macaroni, who is also an actor in the Nollywood industry, also said one or two and shared on his Instagram page saying, Nigerians are getting killed and the so called leaders are doing absolutely nothing about it. What is the solution to this madness? Because we don't know who is next tomorrow. Nobody is safe. Nobody. Nigerian government, federal, state, and local. Your people are dying. If them kill us finish, who will you govern? What is the value of a Nigerian life? The people are dying. Children are dying. Mothers, fathers, aunties, uncles. Nigerians are mourning their loved ones. Families are being thrown into endless pain and suffering. Not certain how they will survive. All for what? all for political tribal and religious intolerance that our government have wielded as weapon to destroy innocent lives no one is safe no reason um, it happens in the south east north and west it happens everywhere nigerians are bleeding and dying every day our leaders are heartless they do not care they are well protected while the people they swore to serve and protect are being sacrificed what is the solution to this madness we cannot continue like this who is next this is the question everyone has been asking the government to provide an answer to and truly with the current state of emergency in nigeria no one truly is safe once again this page doesn't support any form of violence nor does it promote any non-governmental propaganda well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye